Hello, this is Tom from Never Center, and in this video, I'm going to show you our brand new features in Pixel Mesh 2024.3. These are some big uh, usability ones that have been requested by our users, um, so I think you'll be very excited about these. Um, the first is an area select tool, which uh, is standard in normal pixel art programs, but because of Pixel Mesh's resolution independence, that has presented some some challenges. And so it's been a while for us to implement this, but um, now you can drag out selections and, and move them and copy them into different layers and whatnot. So let me just walk you through this um, first with a, a low res file. So this is just painted at, at the resolution up here. This is not dynamic resolution. So you can drag rectangles. You can hold shift to drag multiple rectangles and add them. You can drag to, to cut or you can hold shift and drag to to duplicate and that will all happen within the existing layer. Um, I can double click on pixels to select pixel islands of that same color. Uh, I can hold shift and select and uh, either double click or drag rectangles or whatever to to add to that so I can come in and just sort of gradually double click and expand this island. Um, you can use Alt-Shift to subtract from the selections. These shortcuts, by the way, are listed in the tooltip up here. So um, I think I mentioned all of those things that we see there. Um, so anyway, it's just a super handy tool for quickly um, clicking and dragging um, selections. One of the handy things that you can do is you can right click on it and then it gives you some options. So we can, uh, for example, sec select the same color pixels either just in the active layer or in the whole document. And so, like I clicked on his hat, this light green here. Now you notice that the color chooser updated to that color. And that I can come over here and drag this and then it's just an easy way to uh, alter one of the colors in the document and just sort of tweak it to exactly how I want it. Um, so that's very handy. Um, so, uh, as I mentioned, this works um, not just in uh, standard pixel layers, but in dynamic pixel layers, dynamic resolution pixel layers. So let me uh, start a new project and choose dynamic res. So this one's going to be scaled up so that the underlying artwork is going to be five times the resolution of the um, what we're seeing here like a circle here and maybe I'll add an outline um, that's what I always do so uh, now if I toggle between the high res and low res with the forward slash button you'll see this is what I've actually painted in high res and this is what's in low res and we can do transforms on this so maybe I scale it and do this um, and you know we can see it in the low res here and now this area select tool will still work with the high res layer. So as I select this and then drag, um, if I switch to the high res layer, you'll see that it was dragging all of those pixels. And in fact, when I, when I dragged again, it um, had a different pixel selection because it can only approximate it so closely when there's all these transforms and everything applied to it. So um, anyway, just something to be aware of, but it does work in both these multi-resolution dynamic resolution uh, projects as well as just a fixed resolution standard pixel art project. So now let's to show you the next feature let me go back to that previous file. So let's do some animation with this guy. Um, and one of the things that you'll notice now is that in the animation timeline we now have a duplicate current frame and so if you have a frame with a bunch of different layers this is a much easier way to uh, to copy that frame rather than before making a new frame and then copying all the keyframes. So I can just hit duplicate frame. So now it's got the same thing in both of these frames. And then we can use our handy area select tool and maybe select the whole sort of upper body of this guy. And let's make him like, you know, uh, let me open the, the preview window. On the second frame, we can make him have like an idle animation where he's maybe like, oh, I gotta select the actual layer, where he's like, you know, sort of breathing or something. And uh, you can see with these 
area select tools that makes that super, super simple. Um, and another thing is, so let's maybe say he's got two frames of up and then the one frame of down. Um, one thing that I can do now that is uh, a super handy thing for animation is I can just drag these if I want to reorder them. So I can drag, you know, this frame where he's, he's uh, up, let me pause this, is now the first frame. Or I can put it at the last or whatever. Super simple, drag and drop. Um, but this frame reordering is, is a new feature to this version and super handy. So uh, between the area select and the, um, the duplicating frames and the being able to drag and reorder frames, this just makes your, your more typical standard pixel art workflow way easier. And um, again, Pixel Mesh's strength is the ability to mix that all together so you can have layers that are in the low resolution and you can have high re la resolution layers for different things and mix and match this all together. Um, so with this, you know, between our vector layers and the high resolution layers and the transforms and all that combined with now our more full set of just standard pixel art tools, Pixel Mesh is becoming super powerful. So let us know what you think. Um, Give us your feedback in the comments of uh, features you'd like to see us add or expand, and we hope that you will enjoy it. Thanks.